Uh, hi, I'm Ada from Tutio Two. So I think when this phrase um, really was my life was when we went overseas for a learning trip um, to Vietnam, as well as China. So in Vietnam, we went to visit the Agent Orange victims, and what we did, we just interacted with them, talked to them. And in China, we taught the like the, the migrant kids um, English and painted their walls and decorated their schools. So what I really learned from these two trips was that, um, like, what really struck me was that there, there's really a very there's really a clear mission in life that everybody has, I think. Like, and that's a sort of larger community. So, and not everything's about school and studying. You know, we really have to um, get out, branch out there, and try to help. So when, so when we came back, um, being the vice captain of swimming in J1, what I wanted to do was that I wanted to try and um, hold a sort of a, sort of a donation drive whereby we every for every lap we swim we get money from maybe parents or students. Yeah, so we, so the whole swim team and I were actually quite excited about you know uh, putting what we've learned overseas um, to try and serve the larger community here. So uh, yeah, I would actually love to thank my teachers from J1 and J2. Um, so the so the history part department, thank you Ms. Cha, Ms. Anna, Mr. Tan for being so motivated and committed to teaching us and you know, staying back all the time to help us. And also the lead department, thank you Mr. Mark and Jilin for your amazing slides and your amazing teaching style and just being a really approachable teacher that we can always ask for, for help for. As well as the econ department, um, thank you Ms. Fan for for not giving up on us, even though we were in a dismal state in J1 and you took us in J2, as well as Mr. Christopher Day in J1 for pushing us very hard and helping us get our A's for PW, and last but not least, Mr. Perrin um, from KI. Uh, he served as a huge inspiration for all of the KI kids, and we just really like to thank him as well. Um, I also like to thank my class, to Tio Tu, for being an amazing bunch. You know, we, we all just grew together and we sought together in J2, and we just a bunch I'll never forget, as well as my parents for giving me space to learn and to grow by myself so that I can approach them freely whenever I have problems. And that really helped me to de-stress and you know, just manage my life in DC. Yeah. I think the most important thing that helped me to do this was um, the community around me. Like in J1, when I was a vice captain of swimming, my teammates would always stay back, like, even if they were needed. They would just stay back and go for meetings with me, as well as discuss with me my uh, our future plans for the swim team and everything. And even in J2, you know, when we were all very busy and stuff, um, my my MUN teammates like Kash, she would stay back and also research with me, um, teach me like go through with me different steps and everything for throughout the preparation process. So yeah, it was really my friends who helped me to balance and um help me do well. Yeah. I think first and foremost, you have to enjoy what you're learning because the art stream has very content-heavy subjects. So if you enjoy what you're learning, you'll definitely be able to press on and memorize and go through all the content. Um, secondly, you should definitely listen to your teachers. This is very important because they teach you all of the skills that you need. And so just listen to them and absorb whatever they're saying like a sponge. Uh, thirdly, definitely practice your skills. Um, <clears throat> the art stream requires a lot of skill-based practice so it's okay if you don't really do very well in J1 but just keep on practicing and eventually you'll be fine yeah